Hello and welcome to this video on Borovka's algorithm. Um, the purpose of this algorithm is to find the minimum spanning tree of a graph. Uh, and just some background, uh, it was discovered in 1926 by Borovka, who was a Czech mathematician. Uh, and he discovered it as a way to connect cities in an electricity network. Uh, and it's been rediscovered a number of times by others, uh, including George Solin. So it's sometimes known as Solin's algorithm. Uh, while the algorithm has been considered quite complicated, the principles are actually really nice and simple. So you start by representing the graph as a set of unconnected components. You repeatedly find the cheapest edges between components and join them together. And you do this until all the edges are connected. And then you have the minimum spanning tree as a result. And it's got time complexity of e log v, where e is the number of edges in the graph, and v is the number of vertices in the graph. Um, so just an example here. Um, so if we go through and look at each uh, component at a time, uh, we see that the cheapest edge for a is 18, the cheapest for b is uh, 19, the cheapest for c is 14, for d cheapest is 10. For E, the cheapest is 15. For F, uh, 16 down here. Uh, for G, the cheapest, but this is 10, but we've already got that. And for H, 16, which we've already got. So that's the first iteration. Uh, the next iteration, we now see we've got two components. Um, and so we just check these edges at the bottom and we see that the cheapest one connecting both these components is 21. And that's the end of that iteration. And so now uh, we've got one component and no more edges left to compare between components. So uh, what we've got left is the minimum spanning tree. Um, so the importance of this algorithm is that it runs relatively quickly and can be easily made to run in parallel for multiprocessors. So it's useful in parallel computing. Uh, it can be used to create networks uh, and these can come in different forms such as electricity, phone lines, TV lines, or computer networks between routers. Um, and it can be used to approximate solutions for the traveling salesman problem. So it's a useful uh, algorithm theoretically. And so now I'm going to show uh, my implementation. Uh, which will result in uh, this minimum spanning tree here and uh, output uh, its result. Okay, so this is my function, the of course. It takes a list of uh, vertices and a list of edges which represent the graph and it will create uh, an empty list of the cheapest edges. It will set the components uh, initially to each vertex in the graph and then enter the loop. Um, and it looks at each component, sets their cheapest edge initially to none. It will then look at every edge in the graph. Um, and if the edges are uh, connecting two different components together, it will see if the edge is cheaper uh, than either of the components' cheapest edges. And uh, if it is, then it will replace them with this one. Uh, and it will go and add the, uh, the cheapest edge for each component into this list of all the cheapest components, uh, which will slowly build up our minimum spanning tree. Uh, and it will then merge together uh, all the components uh, which are connected by edges. And it will then loop back and it will do this continually until uh, all the edges are in one component um, which will mean that there are no more cheapest edges to add and therefore uh, it will have found the minimum spanning tree and it will output this um, and we will be left with uh, this graph showing us the minimum spanning tree. Okay, so this was my video on Baruch's algorithm. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed.